today, Satan. Not today, Nick. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Questions. Where's my cocktail? Where? That's my opinion. All right. You ruined it. You ruined it. You did. Okay. What the f is this? The lies. There you the go. Lies. There you go. <laughs> you are the biggest bully in Hollywood, and everyone knows it. Before we start, it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Jibu Beauty. They have an amazing skincare collection that will make your skin and your soul look amazing. Their personal mission in life is to make your skin glow. From the Super Duo to the Multitasking Tint Moisturizer to even their new Enchanted Bloom collection, everything that they offer is just perfection. So if you want to get your products, make sure to go to the link on the description below and do not forget to use my discount code ANDY15 and you will get between 15 and 20% off. So get your products right now. Jibu Beauty, inspired by dreams, made for reality. Hello, Verve Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. And this beautiful Saturday, the weekend is finally here. And with that, a lot of like weird information that we're getting out there. Girl, I have to tell you, we need to talk about the real housewife of Salt Lake City because I have some cold, cold iced tea coming from the cold mountains of Salt Lake City. So let's talk about this uh, mess. There is a couple things that I wanted to let you know uh, for you guys from the fans, you know, of this specific franchise or for everyone out there who is supporting me. Love you guys. <laughs> Anyways, girl. Um, the, the girls are already filming, okay? I can tell you that Angie Katzenevas and Dana Bui Negrete have actually been filming. Mm -hmm. So expect them to return next season. Now, the question is, will they be getting a snowflakes or will they be friends again i don't know i think to be very honest that they're gonna be getting their snowflakes so let's wait and see because i really really like them i really like what we, that, uh, what they brought last season and i think they have a lot of potential to have a long lasting career on the real housewives of salt lake city so that's interesting right there so now moving on with uh that there is also reports and apparently a confirmation that Miss Mary Cosby is in fact returning to the next season also. Um, this is, has been uh, received with good and bad, you know, from the fans. Um, I mean, you know that she is, of course, she's funny and she's weird and she's going to be bringing all of these things to like the show. Uh, but a lot of people are also knowing what really is happening with her behind the scenes and the whole shady businesses with the church. So, you know, like it's a little bit complicated, uh, the return of Mary Cosby, because, I mean, she also makes some, you know, controversial comments in the past. So let's see. Now, what I'm uh, receiving from them is that she will not be back on a full capacity. She's probably just going to be a friend that is going to be just like here and there, you know. Uh, but still, it means that she's still going to be paid by Bravo. So I don't know. I mean, let's see. Let's wait and see. Let's see. Let's see if she can convince us on this new season that she is not who she has been portraying to be. So let's wait. Now, um, Heather Gay on an event actually confirm, well, kind of like confirm, you know, confirm without confirming that Mary Cosby was in fact returning next season. Also on a video on TikTok that Brooks Marks posted, uh, he showed how her mom Meredith was actually also talking to um, Mary Cosby, you know, and I think they're really trying to form these groups. Uh, we know that on one side we're going to have, of course, 
Queen Lisa Barlow with Whitney Rose and Angie Katzenevas and Dana Winnegret. So that's going to be a great group right there. And then on the other side, we only have like, you know, Marilyn Marks and Heather Gay. Now I'm thinking by bringing Mary Cosby is giving like a little bit of support to this side. Uh, but also there is being said that there will be another new housewife who is also going to be joining the show, which ho hopefully is going to be the one who is in a trouble. Because I think that will be very interesting to see how it works, you know, especially in Utah. So I think that's that's going to be important. Now, also we're getting like a very weird tea coming from Miss Gather Gay, Heather Gay. <laughs> and it's basically that she, I mean, she's blaming Bravo and the producers for the editing around the black eye which itself, it's kind of like weird, you know, but now she's literally coming forward. No, no, no. And apparently, uh, according to Heather, you know, I mean, she's, she's, she's blaming the producer, she's blaming Bravo, and now she is saying that Bravo has footage of the black eye incident. Mm-hmm that they know what went down and that they are choosing not to put it out there. What is Heather Gay doing? First of all, does she want to get fired? Second of all, like, what? Are you telling me? She says that there were cameras everywhere, you know, that she in fact black out, that she doesn't remember anything that happened, but there were cameras everywhere and that Bravo has actual footage of what happened with the black eye and they choose not to show it and to create all these weird storyline around it. Girl, this girl is crazy. I'm so sorry. Look, you, you may not trust in Bravo, but if anyone created this storyline was Heather Gay, okay? She was the one saying to everyone that someone did this to her and then saying that it didn't and then say that she didn't remember and then saying that you know she blacked out and then like changing the story every five minutes and then she created this storyline you know but now she's saying that bravo has footage and is deciding not to like basically accusing bravo of you know protect and abuse her girl i don't know i mean this is going to to too much like it doesn't really even make sense believe me i do believe andy coin when he says if we wouldn't have the footage we will have shown it you know bravo don't protect anyone they don't give a shit about anyone at the end of the day they will put everything out there one way or another if they have footage or hot mic moments that's what makes reality TV. Do you think that the ratings wouldn't be gone through the roof by, I don't know, watching Jen Shaw playing Caesar kick Barbies with uh, Heather and giving her the black eye? Girl. I don't know. I think Heather is spiraling out of control. So anyways, that's everything that is happening on the Real Houses of Salt Lake City. So let me know what you guys think on the comments below, girl. Mm-hmm. And if you want to get all the tea related to Salt Lake City or any other housewife franchise or pop culture, make sure to subscribe, 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 and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.